Jeffrey. You have to come mediate Troy and Ovid. They look up to you. What's with the film crew? Uh, don't worry about that. Oh, I am worried about that. If there's one thing I've learned at this place is that a film crew means disaster. Okay, they are here to document Greendale's Guinness record, which you are going to make sure we get by talking to Troy and Ovid right now. This is your fault. No, it's your fault. This is your fault. Your fault. Your fault. Your fault. OK, I've got good news for both of you. Neither of you has to apologize, because what you're doing is equally ridiculous. So here's the solution I'm pitching. I'm giving you two imaginary friendship hats that automatically make you friends again. Are we done? Sorry, Jeff, but this matter is a little more serious than that. No, it's not. You're children acting like grown-ups. I mean, it's fine, but just don't pretend it's anything but that. Troy Barnes and Abed Nadir, friends so close they once graced the cover of Friends Weekly, a pretend magazine of their own design. Earlier that day, they begin construction on a fort made of pillows. Its name, New Fluffy Town. Its goal, to be a newer, fluffier town than Fluffy Town, their blanket fort from the previous year. New Fluffy Town didn't care who you were. You were surrounded by softness. It's just like crawling through a hug. Well, I guess all hugs have to come to an end. When an opportunity arises for a world record, it creates a rift. Troy wants to go for the record, using blankets for rapid expansion. Abed insists on pillows, declaring world records to be dumb. Troy declares the declaration lame, stating that thinking records are dumb is stupid. He secedes from New Fluffy Town and begins constructing Blanketsburg on the other side of the campus. Abed renames his fort Pillow Town for the sake of conceptual symmetry. Both forts expand until both are in each other's way. Well, Study room F, 3 p.m. Things Pillow quickly reach down. their boiling point. Stand back. Watch it, Starburns. My name is Alex. <laughs> A softly lobbed hypoallergenic Sealy Select in a floral print case collides with a load-bearing broomstick, collapsing a queen-size section of blanket fort. You saw that? They knocked it down! <laughs> Starbucks, go! Excuse me, please! Jeffrey! Oh! Jeffrey, find me! Get back! It was later named the Study Room Kerfuffle. Give me some more.